Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Invenio presentation. My name is Hermann Geigel, and the topic today is WTDMU, our digitalization toolkit. During the presentation, I will briefly go into the company about Invenio Virtual Technologies, then on to our technology WTDMU. The third bullet point then shows the innovations and the fourth bullet point then goes into artificial intelligence before concluding the presentation with our outlook for the future. Invenio Virtual Technologies focuses on digital product development. The passion for digital prototypes is what drives us and our technology VTDMU is much more than just the software. It's much more than just the technology. We can use this to bring many benefits to our customers. On the one hand, that is to shorten the development time and reduction of development costs. We are able to contribute with VTDMU to the fact that much less hardware prototypes are built up or hardware prototypes are avoided completely. We can identify any errors or problems in the virtual products at an early stage and thus process huge amounts of data and ultimately bring transparency to the huge amount of data. On this slide, you can see our clients. We have been working with Mercedes-Benz for a very long time and our technology is in use at Mercedes-Benz Group. On the one hand, as a central solution in the PDM system, and, but also at each workstation as a decentralized solution. Furthermore, we work with many other customers from the automotive industry, but also from the commercial vehicle up to the aerospace industry. Our business model is shown in the graphic here. These are three pillars which are the main fields of our company. On the one hand, the service, it's the left pillar. That means that we work with the customer on the development data of the customer. But we also have our own software technology being created here, right pillar. And in the middle, we have our consulting. These are our experienced colleagues who take care of the processes and of the automation of the processes. We have been working for many years combining the world of engineering with the world of IT. And in recent years, we have received numerous awards for this. I will show you exactly where we are in development process on this slide. And it starts 60 months before series. So when the first CAD models are being saved in the PDM, the virtual vehicle are, vehicles are being cr created and we are checking, we monitor the virtual vehicle, we check the data for geometric consistency. In the next step, we take care of the package. We make sure that the components are placed in the right position. We also ensure that the 3D data are secured early in terms of service issues for repair work. We make sure that the technical documentation is created. And of course, we also take care of the assembly issue. That is how the vehicle is efficiently assembled and finally we ensure that the graphics for the operating instruction or other media are creating, created accordingly. All in all, we are represented throughout the entire development process with our technology and always with the claim to provide 3D data for the entire process and ultimately because we think in 3D. VTDMU, our software techno technology, can be also represented in one graphic. 
the software consists, let's say, of different algorithms from different modules. There are over 50 powerful algorithms now. The algorithms can be controlled individually or combined with each other very flexibly integrated into the customer systems via our APIs. And our customers very often use the technology on a corporate-wide basis, integrated as automatic processes or linked to the customer systems. In addition, we also work with software partners such as uh, Contact Software, who offer a PLM system. Starting in 2014, we have been working on artificial intelligence solutions and we have been using AI productively since 2020. And as mentioned earlier, we have been awarded several times for our technology and for our business model with a wide variety of awards. And in the next part of the presentation, I would like to present some innovations I will begin with the field of the digital factory. Here we are talking about uh, safeguarding screwdrivers and welding tongs. The solution that we then developed together with the customer is implemented with VTDMU. And with VTDMU, all welding gun positions for all vehicle variants are calculated automatically in batch. For this purpose, several VTDMU modules are used. This uh, is on the one hand the space map generation and the stacking mechanism. We have also integrated the neighbor search and the colli collision calculation in the solution. And here very large amounts of data are processed. In the area of the body and white, parts only, which are 1,500 parts, 7.2 million tongue positions are checked. Every possible tongue position is calculated for every spot weld and made, made available as a result. In the picture shown in green, here are all collision-free positions. That means that the welding spot can be set without any problems. But there are also a range of 180, the red one here, to 220 degrees. In this range, the welding tongue can't be used. This is a typical case for an automated solution for the processing of mass data, for the reduction of manual efforts, and this leads to a reduction of the product planning time. Let's look at the area of development, and here we have the third example. It's about solid envelopes. It's about data reduction, and it's about confidentiality. And I mentioned earlier that we have a very large feature set with VTDMU, over 50 algorithms. And in these algorithms, there are also numerous possibilities for data reduction. So now there was a special customer request, and this customer request is protecting security-relevant geometry information, but necessary geometry features must be preserved. In the customer-specific project, we recorded the requirements in the first step. In the second step, Ideas and concepts were then worked out. A proof of concept was then used to check whether the solution is actually feasible. And after we had implemented a successful POC, the software was realized, tested, and delivered. Yeah, let's take a look at the example. Using uh, the example of an assembly, here the engine. We have the engine with the individual geometries. Here we can see the oil pan flanged to the engine. 
all together the input data. We then get uh, as a result for each component a solid. Using the oil pan as an example, you can see the result here on the right side. We have the oil pan which is closed at the interface, which means that we have a closed component here, a solid. Yeah. The component is gutted inside, it's empty. As a result, we get a shell of the complete engine, but all the individual components are preserved. The algorithm that we have developed here is named uh, Solidifier, an intelligent algorithm that allows to close openings and holes at the interfaces while the individual components remain intact. If we now take a look at the area of artificial intelligence, some of you will know that we have been developing artificial intelligence in the field of geometry check for many years and are already using it productively today. The process for this is shown here. The virtual vehicles are taken over, are calculated for geometric conflicts and the geometric conflicts are then evaluated whether critical or non-critical and communicated accordingly to the engineer. The evaluation of potential problem areas in particular is sometimes that could only be done by humans because it requires knowledge and experience. Um, the problem was, however, that the amount of data kept growing that an incredible number of calculation results were available and that the amount of work involved kept increasing. That's exactly why we started doing research in the field of artificial intelligence back in 2014. And since 2020, a productive solution is available that works hand in hand with the users. It consists of three components. Yeah? The basis is that the data is enriched with additional information. This additional information is needed by the AI to make de decisions. In the first step, the AI creates information that the expert needs to immediately grasp the problem situation for the documentation. There are intelligent 3D views or images as the experts would create by themselves. And on the other hand, the AI evaluates potential problem solutions. How the whole thing looks like, you can see on this page. We have a geometric conflict, here a collision. And in the case in this case, the AI creates images, image information, so that the user can immediately see which components are involved. He can see where the problem is, what the collision looks like, and the intelligent cut is also set here, but that the user can immediately see whether the AI has performed a correct evaluation. In this case, the AI has evaluated the collision with 99.9% .9 as uncritical. Additional information is also available um, about the location of the problem in the car. In the meanwhile, we have three AI models at Invenio, um, level one, level two, and level three. These three times AI span a wide range. With level, lines, level one, you can uh, start immediately, while level two and three bring a lot of potential for the future. Level one is already trained. Yeah, it's generic. It is independent of client data and can be used productively right now. That means 
that new clients we can immediately show the that the AI works and the AI level one delivers up to 50% efficiency for the user. And if the client or the user wants more, then a level two and level three is available. The level two is a neural network which is trained by Invenio experts on client specific data. And level three is brand new. This is a co learning. AI, it looks over the user's shoulder and learns along with him and thus adjusts to the client specific data. The more the AI is used, the more new ideas or new requirements come up. You can see this very well in an example. We have uh, identified all possible screw problems in a vehicle and in the first case we see that the screw is inserted at an angle which causes the screw head to collide. In a second case, we identify that the component, that a component is missing. This could be a plane washer, which is not present but should be. And in the third case, it is identified that the screw length is too short or the screw length in is too short. The whole solution is generic. It's a generic structure for arbitrary data sets and work fully automated. The outlook. Going forward, AI will continue to be very important for us. We have identified a new use case and the use case here is about artificial intelligence in digital service. Again, it's about very big data and we can detect all geometry changes in the vehicle and these geometry changes are interpreted accordingly so that the AI can evaluate whether the geometry modification has an impact on the service in the workshop. And a second very interesting topic for the future is the digital factory where we have a collaboration with NVIDIA. NVIDIA is very good at visualizing complete factories, but when it comes to analyzing the factory data, then we TDMU is used and the algorithms check the whole geometry in the factory for both static and dynamic cases. We complement each other very well and that is a good basis for successful cooperation. Yeah, at this point, thank you very much for your attention. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us.